standing on the left-hand side. And it is Charles Bolzanger who starts in between the posts. Cerna and Luca Claritza starting at right back. And that's a wicked shot past the keeper to open the scoring. Zvonimir Cerna off to settle into this second leg. Ball out to the right wing and Yanis Len is denied. Rebound picked up well. And it is a Montpellier ball for the home side. Monte lays it off. Scuba back into Brian Monte who takes a bounce. Nice timing on that, but the save is a decent one. Mandic holding his ground basically. Goyon on the counter attack here. Kapcic gets it from Serna. Back in the center again. Zvonimir Serna, wicked shot again. On the big left back at a two goal lead. Early doors for Zagreb. Can Yanis Lane cut that in half? Yes, he can. And Montpellier. After two lays off that pass to Dibirov, Timur Dibirov, Klaritsa, Sverna looks about the shot again, this time lays it off to the line, draws out. Here he goes again, Ports, now to Monte, he's through, can he get the shot off? He can eventually, inside defending and the penalty called by the referees. Nicely one for him. Stash Scuba with the penalty, fires that one into the top right-hand corner, Montpellier back within one. It's up, hand up for passive play. Goss, Claritz, a tight angle for him, but he somehow creates the space. Nicely done by Luca Claritz, uh, the left there. You wouldn't back him to score in those situations, but nice contortion of the upper body. Uh, no penalty given there, another save for Mandic, and away comes Zagreb on the counter-attack. Ball over the halfway line by Serna, into the line. Glass coming in from the left wing. Sidestep Camp there on the line, Paul into the line, eventually through the legs of the keeper this time. That's much better, and an opening goal of the day for Veron Nacinovic. Thinking about going out to the line, and that one pings off the top of the crossbar and stays out. Ball's on ship, Scuba. Passes to nobody, and it's up for grabs. That's a great hustle from both players, and Zagreb come away with it, and it's over the crossbar. Uh, that's a poor miss from Zvonimir Serna, who's had a very good start to this game. Fellow top scorers are uh, retiring. Two of them at the end of the season, as we see another one put away by Nacinovic, and that brings Montpellier level. Goss. Claritza, and that's a loose pass. He's having a bit of a nervy game. Oh, beautifully done. Timur Dibirov steals it back, and Kos beats the keeper at the beginning. What well, was a nothing ball. And getting his side, a cheap, cheap goal. Claritza trying to rush that one. And I think Jan Horvat, who could go out to the right back, but not ideal. Oh, that's much better. Spins past the defender inside, defending by Nacinovic, and it's a penalty. For Zagreb, one by the man we were just from the penalty line last week. What can he do this time? Oh, well, he started last week with a gorgeous lob over the keeper. That's what he does this time. Serna looking to take on Scuba before he can get ahead of steam going. But a second line player drags him back. That's got to be a two-minute suspension. It is indeed. You feel like that was a while coming for the Zagreb defense. And Jakob Goyon. Mandic stepping out to four meters. And that does diddly squat as Stash Scuba. Pellier going with the 5 1 defense. Uh, could be an attacker foul there. And that's exactly what the fans thought. The referees giving the free throw, though. Claritza, hand up for passive play. Lays it off and into the line. Nothing the defense can do about that as soon as the ball is in his hands. Nicely worked by Arin Faljic. Ah, beating the keeper at the near post, Valentin Port. Quick response and a great... To the end, Claritza passes it a bit astray and a scramble for the ball. Oh, beautifully won by Port! And a chance now on the counter attack. Fernandez lays it off, Stash Scuba! Oh, the save! Mandic, as he did so often last... I say maybe, definitely, Timur Dibirov made the most of it. Referees, with no hesitation, Eugenie Fernandez. And uh, that was a totally unnecessary shove. Zagreb a man up, and that means Goyun goes in as a second line. Ball into Valich, that's a poor shot. 
Paul Zanger holds his ground. Uh, makes it easy at the moment. Scuba. Monte, good speed. Oh, the shot behind the back. Brian Monte rides the challenge beautifully and just whips it behind his back, catching the defence and keeper off guard. First goal of the day. Nice ball back at the Goyon. He tries to spin and he pulls it off. Bolzanger coming out, making himself big. Delivering so far. Len goes in as a second line and the shot. From Monte didn't put some pace into this game again. Gets it back on the counter attack, out to the right wing, and a good finish at the near post by Philip Glavash. Push ups as he warms himself up after coming in and goal for Paul Zanger. Pace as they are at the moment, so using as many players as they feel comfortable with. Koss sends the keeper the wrong way. Milos Kos, and a fine finish in Zagreb, and a fine finish in Zagreb with a two-goal lead, but for how long? Not for too long, I tell you that. Diego Simone flying through the air like he's 24. But last week in that left back did a fantastic job. That's a poor miss over the crossbar. Uh, Milos Kos knows it. He switch, brings Simone into the center. Scuba tries his luck, lays it off to Simone. It's a good save. Not well. Done his homework since last week, that's for sure. Breakthrough. Oh, and just sneaks over the line. Debonet got a touch on it. But Luca Clark staying down afterwards. Referees say play on. Montpellier have to put this away. And they do with a plum. Yanis Len ghosting that. We're going with an all right handed backcourt for now. Oh, nice save by Debonet. Stood his ground really well there. Koss. Oh, he's got the space in the end, but a difficult shooting angle away. Come on, Pelé on the counter attack. We got his lad, he leaves. Oh, nicely done. That's much, much better. Karpor Sirotic missed the previous opportunity, but saw the same gap this time. Sanger saw him there briefly. Not a big day for him yet. Port. Oh, he's through. Valentin Port. Nothing Mandic can do about that one. Let's see if it can affect him in any way. That's nicely done. I have to say, keeping not too great there, but full credit. Arthur Len is in. Oh, nice spin. Simone pops it in to the top right hand corner. There you go, Simone. Picking up where he left off last week. Pellier in this game late in the first half. Goss off to save from Debonet. He owed his team that one. Big ball, ball over the top. Oh, beautifully done. Has to be put away. And it is. Great vision all around. Devin. Momentum may be slipping the other way. They need a goal here quickly. And that's exactly what they get through Luxmore. Simone shifts out to the right-hand side, and he slips as he tries to lay that pass. Deep it off. Oh, he overpasses it. Oh! <laughs> that would have been fantastic if it counted. A real let off there from Montpellier. They can't. Make the most of it though. Mandic with another save at the nearest again as Clarence goes back out to the right back position. Uh, the ball turned over there a little bit. Ball out to the left hand side. Conan out to the wing. Ah, and saved again. Mandic rebound picked up. Stash. Scuba back in in the center. Oh, he's through. Or oh, the referees say illegally though. Keel awaits the winner of this one. Uh, we're really no. Simone trying to get some speed into the game. Monte. Port out to the wing, Sebastian Carlson. First goal of the day for Sebastian Carlson. One of the top scorers. 20 seconds left in the first half. Zagreb, can they take the lead? No, they can't. No, lays it off. The Simone, no angle for the shot, and he didn't need to rush that one in. They're getting a rush of blood to the head. Uh, Valentin Port lucky. Tight angle. For Monte, and he whips it. Zagreb getting their nose in front and being pegged back. But it's Montpellier who get us underway. Chris O'Reilly live with you from the FDI Stadium. The man-on-man -man collisions and the tackles. Monte from long range, that's blocked down by Go. Up over the halfway line, Luca Claritza skips inside and shoots clean over the crossbar, but gets the penalty. Called by the Czech right against Ivan Cupic from the penalty line. And once again, Cupic delivers. 
Flair before he gets out of the way. There is space on the line, but they go for Simone down the right-hand side. It's battered away. Uh, another good save by Mate Mandic. He and his team. Kovacic. Plays it off to nobody. To Simone, and the hand is up for pass and play. Diego Simone bounces that one straight at the keeper. That's two misses in a row for him. Getting back, and Zagreb could punish them here on the counter. That's exactly what they do. A two-goal lead for the Croatian side. Moment. Simone again. Thinks about laying it off, but the pass is not there. Ball into the line eventually. That's nicely worked. Uh, Montpellier rewarded with a goal through Arthur Len. Two legs. Zagreb looking in good form, but then... Kovacic waiting in the center. He picks it up on the move, and he's well read. Ball over the top, keepers out. Pelas with an empty net to shoot into. Lucas Pelas with the goal, Remy Debonet with again. A brilliant eye for... Luka Klaritz again. Waiting in the center, ball into the line. Uh, that one tipped in by the keep. Simone sneaks in as a second line player. Port tries to force his way through and he gets the penalty. Oh, that's excellent stuff from Valentin Port. That's what Port's done there to win the penalty for Scuba. And he makes no mistake from the penalty line. We're level again. The way it's going. Wouldn't bet against it. Turn over here and a chance for Sebastian Carlson. He's got the speed. Can he put it through? The keeper, he can indeed. Carlson gives Montpellier the lead, and Zagreb all of a sudden chasing. Klaudic to Klaudica. Sirotic thinks about the shot, lays it off instead. Oh, it's taking a uh, the long way around, you might say. Zvonimir Serna not coming. Debonet stays back in his line, then he pops out. And he can't do anything again. Ivan Cupic winning these little battles over and over and over again. Knockout handball. And then the machine seeker HF Champions League is all about. And Scuba game. Klaudica into the line, but it's a poor one. And away come on Pellier. The chance Scuba skip pass out to Carlson. Oh, the stop by Mandic. That's massive. Mate Mandic coming up with the goods again. And down the other end, it's a traveling violation. Mandic. Coming up with the goods again, and down the other end. Will not be happy with himself there. He's clean through again, a penalty for Diego Simone. That's more like it, plus the two minute suspension. Be a man up. Scuba. Mandic stays back in his line, and he's sent the wrong way. 20 to 18. Here, club legend. Has he still got it? Find out. Oh, what a pass that was. Meanwhile, definitely earned something and it got a penalty. Nice little pass back behind Chupic against Debonet. Steps out to three, three and a half meters. Faked once and popped into the top left hand corner. An absolute master class from the big Chupic and Horvat. Two right wing legends for Croatia. Oh, nice breakthrough by Scuba. He's really cooking now. Stash will take penalty taking duties in the meantime. Apelas makes no mistake. Second line coming in from the left wing. Ball into the line is cut out. Brilliant from Port. Straight into the hands of Carlson. This time he makes no mistake. And Montpellier with a three goal lead. And you feel for the first time in this tie. The Montpellier really have control now. Gets it back from Sirotic. Klaritsa. Oh, and that's nicely done. Probably could have taken the shot himself. And in the final minutes of the first leg, brought Zagreb level. Even had a chance to win it. Scuba! Oh, pushed away to make his angle even tighter. But so much hasn't been the case for most of this time. Zerna. Perfect chance for him to take on the shot. This only source of goals from the penalty line. Chupic against Bolzanger. Fakes it once. Oh, and there you have it. Ivan Chupic finally misses a penalty. Here from Montpellier. Ball at the scuba, but the two defenders fall over each other. Lays it back into Simone, and it's a save. I man the boys in white. Ball out to the left wing, and Chavor saved. Remy.
Tommy Debonet says no. Wrap around from the wing. On the pass to nobody. Him and Port. And a chance again. Oh, it's going to be a penalty, you reckon? It is indeed. Little contact there. Sebastian Carlson connect against Paul Zanger. Klavash fakes it once, and it's saved by Paul Zanger. The penalty well has dried up for Zagreb. Simone, space on the line, but Diego goes for himself, and ah, that's going to be a penalty. <laughs> He's absolutely delighted with himself. Took a heavy pair of hits there. Pelas, who has taken over the penalty duties and done so well. Oh, nicely done, Pelas into the top right-hand corner. Up. Ball into the line, and it's oh, in off the post. There's a no goalkeeper at home. And Pelas decides not to force the shift. The Port out to the wing, Carlson with a tight angle, and it's well saved. Rolls with Valentin Port and taking shots at left back while Port was in goal. Ball out to the left wing, plenty of space there, and beating Debonet at the near post. Davor Chavar. Moves it off from Port. Looking for the line, he finds the line. Len composes himself and places it past the keeper. Four goal lead again from Montpellier. Physically. Serna looking for the line. Well, you'd imagine he would have gone for himself there, and instead gives up an empty net goal for Sebastian Carlson. And that's the difference between last week and this week. Serna just here from Montpellier. Claritza, it's a heavy challenge from both sides. I think there's going to be a two minute suspension here, as well as the penalty. And Brian Monte will get, you, get his march. That went over the crossbar. Chavar lobs him, and he lobs him with a plum. Nice finish. Two in a row for Davor Chavar. It's all emerging. Simone takes the hit, and the referees say play on. And now there's an empty net for Zagreb to throw it into and in this second half. Most of the damage happening down the left-hand side. Oh, good ball. Ah, oh, the ball behind the back past the keeper. Arthur Len with a moment of magic. Sirotic in the center. Into the line. Oh, and it spills free. Empty net. And it scores. Remy Debonet. Easy as you like. At this point, Montpellier. They've had to battle hard in this game, but they're cruising now. Debonet with another stop. The FDI Stadium. Almost stolen. A port is through instead. And he composes himself, places it past the keeper and stays down. Oh, and he looks in pain there. He's got cramp. Thankfully, it's just cramp. Fly pass across, nobody home, and the Pratt. On a shot down low, and sorry, I had to uh, take a moment there to share who the player of the match would be. Sent it a good 10 at this point. Another penalty from Montpellier, another one put away by Lucas Pellas. And sweaty contest for about 45 minutes before Montpellier really found their groove and all of his handball. Berthier lays it off to Pratt. He's did not put a bit of a sheen on his teams have given us earlier today. And Kjeltsa put.